What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving supervised video. We are getting update after update here. We're on 13.2.8 and look at that, Cybertruck actually wanted to start on its own when I engaged FSD. So 13.2.8, 13.2.7 just came like a week ago and uh, that actually went pretty wide. I don't know if it went fully wide, uh, but I know a lot of people ended up getting that version. Along with this rollout of 13.2.8, Hardware 3 is also getting updates. So there's no, again, updates in the release notes, so we don't know, unfortunately, exactly what Tesla is doing with these updates. They're not really telling us anything um, besides bug fixes or who knows what. I do have uh, one issue that I face daily uh, that I showed in the last video where FSD is getting into, I have a left turn coming up and there's a bunch of left turn lanes leading up to it and it keeps getting in the wrong one. That still happened today on this newest version. I voice report it, you know, I mean, I've kind of given up, but I've voice reported it, I mean, over 20 times probably, and it still, you know, is not really able to handle that. So um, that's not getting fixed. <laughs> so we don't know exactly what they're doing, um, but hopefully, you know, things are improving in terms of uh, smoothness and safety and all of that. So nice job moving through that uh, tight situation here and moving back over and getting here. Now, one uh, kind of interesting thing I want to point out is my front cameras up here. So they're right right in front of where usually your rear view mirror is. There was some frost inside of the housing. Um, I, I wiped that camera off, I, I kind of cleaned it up, uh, but you know I can't do anything about that. Now you can kind of take this off and, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but in my opinion, you know, that's something Tesla needs to be taking care of and doing. You know, again, if, if we're talking RoboTaxi here, um, people aren't gonna be disassembling <laughs> the robo taxis uh to get frost out of the camera housings so i may pull that down and take it apart uh, but it's definitely an issue it was negative three this morning it's now you can see nine degrees so i'm not sure we're going to get a ton of like pedestrian interactions in this video but uh we'll still go through downtown here um and make uh FSD do some circles and, and kind of do a stress test here. We'll make this a tough one and see if we can handle it. So far, all of these stops, these left turns have been beautiful. So we see zero and then we pretty much immediately start moving again. Uh, we get out here. Yeah, it, it's feeling really good. So going through that tight street there um, was really nice. And uh, these left turns have been really good, very confident so far. So let's get this first stop out of here and we'll let it continue. But like I said, you know, without, oh, come on, I'm just adjusting my, uh, <laughs> adjusting my navigation there and it's yelling at me already. Um, like I said, with the release notes not changing, it's kind of difficult for us to be exactly sure uh, what's going on here. Now, this is not, what, no, 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 no. What are you going to do? You're going to cut this guy off? Don't do it. Oh my gosh, don't do it. So rude. Nope. Oh man, it did. Wow. Unbelievable. So because they were going a little slow, it went around them and basically turned left in front of them. Now, they were still going slow enough that there was room for us to do that, but it was very rude and a little dangerous because if they were going to go straight there, um, that would have been really dumb. Again, FSD did it, so, you know, I guess it ended up being okay, but it's not really the move you want to do. So going through here, this is another spot where we used to always get stuck all the time. We'll see if FSD will handle this the right way. We got one person there and people are not gonna wait for us here, which is fine. And then there is that person we got in front of, which, oh man, that makes it doubly embarrassing. Let's see, okay, no, no middle finger there. And now that it's clear, you're gonna go. Nope, I'm gonna push it through here. So there's an intervention for you. We had someone behind us. We had more traffic coming up. So, wow, that's crazy. Um, so FSD is getting stuck in that spot, which it's been getting stuck in that same spot for over a year now. The other thing I've been using for over a year is Delete Me, which you should definitely check out using my link below. You can save 20%. Delete Me takes your personal information and completely deletes it from the internet from data brokers that are gathering that information. What they're doing is technically legal, although it's really scummy and it can lead to identity theft, phishing and other scams. So you definitely want to get your information deleted off the internet with the help of Delete Me. There are hundreds of these websites. There are thousands of listings and Delete Me will go through all of that for you and delete pretty much all of it. They put in these requests for you. They save you hours and hours of time. Um, and I've been using them, like I said, for over a year and they've deleted my information from thousands of different listings. It's really impressive. Um, and I've actually seen my personal information disappear from these websites. I've checked it. 
I checked it after using Delete Me and my information was gone. So a really effective service that I highly recommend. Um, I actually, some of my family members are using it now, having their information deleted, they've all been very happy. So again, use my link below to save 20% on Delete Me. Thank you so much to Delete Me uh, for sponsoring this video. So we got the red light here and this lane is actually closed. So I don't know exactly what FSD is gonna do. This person waited and let us out. Wow, that was so polite. Wow, that was so polite. Usually people don't let you in, um, but FSD really took it. It saw that he wasn't moving and moved over there. So I was pretty impressed with that one. Um, but I feel like FSD is being a little rude today. <laughs> um, Interesting. It, it's interesting because you need that assertiveness. You know, I talk about especially in downtown areas, you have to kind of push through or you'll never get anywhere. But I don't know, there's like a limit of how much you want to push through. All right, so we're moving over here into this one. Now, last time we came here, FSD stopped at this red light and then it started, it guessed the green light. So we've talked about how version 13 kind of guesses when the light is going to change from red to green. And sometimes it's really impressive because it starts turning its wheels as the light turns green but sometimes it's completely wrong because it pretty much runs the red light. And this exact light last time we ran it. So nope, this now we waited for the green. I don't know what you're doing here. It thinks that it can't fit. All right, we're stuck again. I have to push the accelerator here because there's people coming up. Uh, hmm, that's really weird. So there's another intervention for you. It basically got stuck. It thought that the curb was a lot closer um, and didn't want to move through there. So I'm not sure, I've never ever seen FSD get stuck there. So we still have new things coming up all the time. That was really weird with that Jeep's tires turned out like that. Is that really a good idea? <laughs> um, so now we have a car stopped in the road. So we put our turn signal on to show we're gonna go around them, which is good. A little too slow here, let's just get going. Nice, all right, I mean, that's not a great spot to be parking. <laughs> wow, there's a dumpster there and everything. I mean, he doesn't have a choice, you know, he's doing a service, he's gotta be parked there, but uh, nice job with FSD handling that one. You know, I, I comment, I'll say I comment on the speed and things, um, it is what it is. So that person is finishing up crossing and we wait for them and very beautifully move through here. Wow, everything's feeling really fluid, uh, it's just, it's weird because it's been so assertive in a couple of these moves. Nice job stopping there. Um, but also has gotten stuck twice now, which is you, usually you get a lot of getting stuck and like hesitation, or you get a lot of assertiveness where the vehicle is just like plowing through everything. Um, this is a weird mix of both of those. So I will say we are in hurry mode and you can definitely see that by the way the Cybertruck FSD is trying to get around everybody. It's kind of doing this thing. Um, I'm gonna leave it. That's usually what I use in my daily driving is hurry mode, but it will give you a lot of that kind of behavior where it's not really waiting for anyone. Uh, now that we have a turn coming up in 0.1 miles though, it's gonna stick here. So it doesn't miss that turn, which is good. And I need, to, I need us to be first at another red light because I feel like there's been a little, little, little delay added to proceeding on the greens which would kind of fix our um, kind of fix our behavior of like running the reds and okay why well, like that guy should just stop <laughs> there's people in the crosswalk just stop there's people in the crosswalk still <laughs> okay oh my goodness whoa they are taking off they are aggressive man um, I would have waited for that next person crossing in the crosswalk but uh, that's just me and um, I know, I wanna also mention, I know the windshield looks all dirty. Like it's winter, there's not much you can do about it. I did, like I said, wipe off that front camera, um, but there is still some frost under it. I mean, last I looked, there was, it may not be there anymore, but um, I looked at the camera previews as well. It didn't seem to really like affect it, um, except for like direct sunlight. So I don't know, but it is what it is. You know, that's, that's what we have to work with. So that's what we're gonna do. So this intersection, Nice. I was thinking we wouldn't have a lot of pedestrian interactions because of the temperature, but I guess people got to get where they're going. This intersection has always been very busy. I love going through this one because there's a lot of pedestrian traffic, uh, but also vehicles we have to kind of contend with. And you can see the person across from us, they're slowly creeping through there because otherwise you are never going to make it. So like now is kind of the time to start moving. Why are we not going? We're stuck for sure. Uh, no one's behind me now, so I'm going to just leave it. Let's see if we can get out of here on its own. All right, now's the time to start creeping. You gotta start creeping. 
or else you're never ever going to get out of here. You can see how that Jeep is going towards the intersection, even though there's people in it. I mean, he doesn't have a choice. He'll never make it if he doesn't do that. There's still nobody behind us, so I'm leaving it. But it, it honestly, it feels like Cybertruck is stuck here because it hasn't moved at all. It hasn't tried to creep. It hasn't tried to do anything. All right, I'm going to give it a tap real quick once we get uh, these two pedestrians out of the way and see if it'll complete it. Okay, so now we're clear of pedestrians. There's one tap. And it is creeping up now. Yeah, it definitely like froze up there with all these pedestrians. There you go. Now that it's clear. So I gave it the tap through once it was in the intersection. So I've noticed FSD, once it kind of gets into an intersection, um, realizes like, okay, we can't stay here. And so then it'll be much more assertive in getting through there. Wow, there's a lot of people. This is awesome. <laughs> this is kind of what I wanted. This is why I chose these routes that I did. Um, and then it'll move through. So we're clear here. Very nice. I like the slowness. Um, I know I keep going back and forth, but I like the slowness when there's all those pedestrians around. This is craziness. Look at all these people. This is the bus stop. That's why. All right, and go. Oh, man, you should have done it. So, yeah, FSD is, like, stopped at the stop sign. It's not taking any of the opportunities that it has. Like, it needs to move through here, and it's just not doing it. So I'm going to have to tap it again because, like, we just had a big clearing there, and it didn't even budge. So I'm giving it another tap. And now, of course, we have someone walking through the crosswalk, but Cybertruck is going to do it. And, like, I think people understand. They see there's a bajillion people everywhere. So it did move through there on its own. It just keeps getting stuck at those stop signs. That's pretty interesting. So it stops at the stop sign, and when it sees all these pedestrians, it basically is, like, frozen. It's like, no, nah, we ain't going to do that. Um, and then with the tap, again, I didn't push it through. I just did that to the accelerator, and then it made the rest of the move. So, hmm, pretty weird there. And then we're on a college campus. I'm surprised I haven't got hit with any eggs or anything. There's no protesters. Pretty interesting, man. It's different than what I'm seeing in the news. I thought I was about to get attacked down here. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of interventions in this one. Because, again, I'm going to tap it. Because we need to get up in the intersection. That's so crazy. FSD used to always, when you would get the green, move up into the intersection. If you don't do that, you're never going to go. Because... There's so much traffic in front of us. What's going to happen is this light's going to turn to yellow before this traffic clears. See? Yellow. And that guy ran the red. Let's go. And then FSD does move through there. I was, like, ready to push it through. But, like, even the bus behind me went. He went through that red because otherwise you're never going to move, especially when you have people running reds like that. I mean, that guy ran, like, a solid red. It's not even like he was close to the intersection um in that time so yeah i don't know that's weird I, I i need to watch more videos of it in like downtown new york because i can't imagine it would make it anywhere uh <laughs> in that kind of scenario if it's it's so hesitant like that and so what would happen if i didn't hit the accelerator there we've seen it plenty of times so i don't want to you know waste any more of my time or the, the people behind me um it would have just sat there would have taken the red you're right in the middle of two lanes right now it would have waited for the red. It would have missed the whole light cycle. Nice big pothole there. FSD's pothole uh, aiming is still on point. And it would have waited for the next light cycle, and it would have happened over and over again. So that's uh, still a thing that it needs to, to work on. All right, so I switched to our final destination there. Check out that truck backing up because traffic to where we're about to go to the left was so backed up from construction he was going to go through the light changed he had to actually go into reverse that's why that's one of the reasons fsd needs reverse you got to do that sometimes and again like get to the intersection what are you doing <laughs> this thing is too scared it's too scared i'm gonna give it a tap i can't i, I just can't like allow this <laughs> i can't allow it you guys are probably like stop doing it but i, I can't it's just too, like get out of here come on um i just need this positioning up here you need to be up here now that it's yellow, and then we get the green and it does move through. So that was probably a 100% unnecessary since we did get a green light. Um, 
But I wanted to get that positioning up there, man. And again, it, it, it has to do a lot with how the drives went already. If I hadn't tapped the accelerator a bunch of times or had it be too hesitant, I probably would have been like, yeah, whatever. But now that I know it's being too hesitant, it's not moving into intersections, it makes me want to push it more. So we have this right turn signal on. I'm not sure why. We're just going to go straight here. Uh, all right. I guess it just was saying it wasn't going to follow that semi. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, we're going to move through, get back through downtown here. Not too congested of a spot, I don't think. One more spot that I think might have a lot of pedestrians on this route. Um, and we're going to go to a parking lot and see if uh, it'll do any parking or anything. So this is a nice little intersection that I used to do to test out kind of the left and right because we were so skeptical of the B-pillar cameras. I still am a little bit. It's hard to see with that building in the way, but FSD just pushes right through it. Uh, you know, I think it has enough time, especially with the slower traffic here, that if someone was coming, it would be able to stop. Uh, but I don't, at the stop line, I don't think it can really see to the left that well. All right. So we had a nice four-way stop there, and that guy ran his stop sign but you know what fsd handled it well <laughs> pretty nice pretty nice um he i don't think he stopped at all i don't know if he missed his stop sign or what happened with that but uh yeah so here we go into our final destination here into the parking lot um this is not exactly the parking lot i wanted but that's all right <laughs> we're gonna let it do its thing this guy's like yo what are you doing here oh yeah this is not this is not right <laughs> I don't think we're going to be parking here, but let's, let's, let's see what happens. So it changed its route. It wants to go this way now. I mean, again, it's not a supported feature, but it's always fun to kind of play around with because sometimes it tries to park. Sometimes it just stops where it is and parks, uh, you know, like right here in the lane. Oh, and there you go. It's parking. All right, sweet. We'll take it. So it's a terrible park job. It's all crooked and stuff, um, but it tried. So, <laughs> and it can't put itself into park. So I'm gonna take over. Uh, yeah, that's that. I hope you enjoyed, uh, and you will see me in FSD in the next video. Don't forget to use that link down below to save 20% on Delete Me.